Hello, and welcome to a very mysterious, very exciting video. I got this package. I wasn't expecting a package. Actually, though, I was expecting a package. I thought my game club doujinshi had arrived, um, and I was pretty excited for that, and I was like, also kind of dreading it because I don't really feel like scanning anything today, and I feel like once I get it, I have kind of a responsibility to scan it ASAP. Um, but no, instead I got this addressed to a Yuri connoisseur. So I assume that this is because my birthday is coming up. My birthday is in four days, this Sunday. Easter Sunday, bunny day in, in Animal Crossing. I would like to say it's going to be a busy day, but realistically I will just stay at home. <laughs> Package message. Huh. Interesting. Hello again. Enjoy this package that hopefully got to you in time. All Amazon.a wouldn't make it, so I ordered from Amazon.com. Ah, oh, I see, I see. I was wondering why it had been, like, like the Amazon packaging had been unsealed, and then it was, like, resealed. Full message, pastebin.com slash. So I'll just type it out here. TV Q and P K. Okay. Scrolling through your wish list and generally looking for things to get you, I came across this book. The cover has truly enchanted me. Though we've reached an impasse, I want it, but I'll let it sit on my shelf and I'm trying to get rid of things, but I want to see what is inside. Please show me what wonderful art lies within. The same thing happened to me from the manga Happiness. I was at a store and the cover for me, not only the cover but the art, I wonder what lied within the bloodied girl. Sorry it's not a mini waffle maker, certainly not a Chevy Silverado 2019. Uh, what the heck is a Chevy Silverado? That sounds familiar, but is there like a particular meme with this car? I don't want this. What water flame, don't get me this. <laughs> <laughs> so this would be like the worst thing that could happen to me. <laughs> Still don't re-upload a cooking video. Uh, I, it's like, instead of just re-uploading the cooking videos, I want to make more cooking videos. But then I never really actually want to make cooking videos because like I'm lazy and I just make like the same few things over and over again. I really should be trying to experiment more with cooking right now because like I'm, I'm, I'm eating every meal at home and cooking for everything. Um, but yeah, yeah, uh, I don't know, yeah. It's it's also because um, when I record cooking videos, I use my laptop, and my laptop has been acting up. So it's like slightly more of a pain, but it's not really that bad. Like, I, I'm sure I could get it to work. Okay, cooking videos soon, sometime soon. Dungeon Meshi, oh man, there's so much manga I've got to read. Maybe not soon, but eventually, eventually. <laughs> So much manga I have to read. Okay, let's see what we got. Ooh, the Air Plus by Storo Pack. Reuse, reduce, recycle. More about Air Plus R. www.storopack.com. Info at storopack.com. I can see why you were attracted to the packaging for this. So minimalist, yet so information rich. All of these numbers leading to telephones and a variety of places Asia Pacific, Europe, North and South America. The slightly different recycling logos. Oh, I don't know why I'm still in this mode. All right, this this bit is very dumb and pointless. Good, good. Ooh, so what could this book be? Oh, 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 this artist. I am also so intrigued by this artist. I am also just so fascinated by what could be lurking within. Um, I, I believe by the name that she's Russian, um, and yet she has been widely, uh, oh my god, this is so cool, um, widely like adopted um, by a Japanese fan community, um, which is not all that common, and uh, the commentary in the book is both in Japanese and English. 
N not in Russian. <laughs> but uh, I guess that makes sense. Oh, this is so cool. It's like this really crazy mix of like uh, the the coloring and the shading and kind of the the like richness of of the flesh tones and stuff is like very realistic, right? And yet the character designs, uh, like the proportions and stuff, and kind of the general aesthetic mood is still like super anime e e. Isn't that cool? Like what the heck? <laughs> I don't know. It really amazes me to see, like, really good painterly... Oh, and then there's stuff like this. Like, what? <laughs> That's so cool! <laughs> Where did that come from? <laughs> or, or, like, this. An entirely different sort of aesthetic. Very, like, cool. Removed. Oh, that's so cool, too. Look, it's, like, mostly black and white. Kind of sepia-toned. Um... But there's still like very subtle highlighting and stuff of, of like the nose and lips and around the eyes that give it like a real depth of realism. That you, you feel like you're actually kind of looking at a person rather than just a drawing, even though the color scheme is uh, quite minimal. Here's another good example. But the ones where it's like actual flesh tones and stuff, it's just mind boggling to me, like how well people can do like shading and highlighting. Um, it's like renaissance-y, you know, like <laughs> um, the, when, when it almost seems like it's like carved from this flesh marble. Now I'm sounding kind of gross. Now I'm thinking about <laughs> more in terms of something like the manga happiness. But yeah, I don't know. It's just, it's very well done. And then I saw just a second ago when I was slipping through, there's another section of like sketches and this just looks like a lot of like on the go sketching sketching people on the train this definitely is some dencha sketches this guy's got a shirt that says initial pig <laughs> i love it <laughs> where to cop where to cop uh yeah this is really cool uh, seeing stuff like this for me it feels very precious it feels like i've um, taken kind of one step closer to the artist. Whoa! Oh my god, these tiny little vignettes, these these postcard size pencil sketches of landscapes. Like, what, how do you draw like this? You know, like, it, to see something, you know, like this, where it, it has many different layers of digital painting, and you can tell that there was, like, uh, how do I put this? Not that, you know, the sketches don't have a lot of work, too, but there's, there's like, many stages that go into the production of this. In fact, and sometimes you can see, like, the sketch compared to the, the final product and stuff to kind of get a sense of that magnitude. But there's always going to be, like, certain steps that seem, like, kind of just, like, magic, you know? That, they, that there's some sort of uh, wash applied or, or, like, here's a great example, you know? Like, going from step two to step three and step three to step four, like, I don't really know what's going on there. It, it becomes a little harder to appreciate just because I've never, like, tried to do anything remotely similar to that. But then to look at these and to realize this is just pencil. Just someone with a pencil sitting there on the train drawing what they see. Uh, it really drives home the magnitude of talent. Like, you, you feel like you can... You can fully appreciate, well, even then you can't really fully appreciate because there's all sorts of subtleties of proportion and perspective that make it look right that I can't recognize, let alone replicate. But anyways, I'm just kind of rambling at this point. It's uh, a really impressive book. I'd honestly totally forgotten about it. Um, it was like an artist I had heard about quite a while ago. I saw that their art book was on Amazon, so I popped it on the old wish list. Link in the description below. <laughs> and uh, and then I forgot about it. Um, so this is such an amazing surprise. Uh, a surprise both from a longtime fan of the channel Waterflame, um, a great friend, a great comrade, uh, someone whose tastes I find like extremely fascinating and their, their dedication to helping with scanlation and stuff is proof of the, the passion they have uh, for the medium. Um, so just getting a gift from them in the first place is, is a delight. 
Um, and then it's like almost a surprise for myself too because I forgot I put it on the wish list. Um, but no, this is, yeah, <laughs> this is better than anything I could have expected because of that. I'm, uh, I'm excited to see all of these comments and stuff too. Here uh, they're talking about watching Ghost in the Shell. Seven years old. I watched Ghost in the Shell when I was like 12, I think. And uh, in retrospect, I often think, like, that was way too soon. That probably scarred me on some deep, subtle way that I'll never fully recognize. And uh, Ilya out here is uh, watching it at age seven. Hmm. Ooh, they mention uh, Inio Asano in uh, this little blurb about their favorites, along with, like, Satoshi Kon, Hideki Anno. This all makes sense. Oh, this is so cool. So yeah, happy birthday to me. <laughs> it was the first gift I've gotten. I feel like uh, probably all of my other gifts from my family are going to come in like May. Uh, just because of, uh, as, as Waterfly mentioned in the note, the long delays of Amazon.ca. Um, all non-essential uh, items are being shipped like months later. So I'm not expecting to get anything else for a while. Nor do I really feel like I need to. This is one of those books that like, you know, I'm kind of like flipping through it right now and just kind of overwhelming myself. But I find that it's nice to kind of just like go page by page, kind of look at each drawing, really think about like, what did it take to draw this? Where did the inspiration come from? What were they trying to achieve? It's meditative, it's calming. And, and those sorts of activities are, are what we need in trying times. Ha ha, okay. Um, Anything else I want to say about it? I don't know. Thanks to The World Ends With You and Sing Yesterday For Me. Sing Yesterday For Me. That's getting an anime right now. What a coincidence. I just read that in the, the like thank you section. Yeah, this is getting an anime adaptation right now. What are the odds? What are the friggin' odds? I actually want to watch this because it's a Dogo Kobo show. Um, so yeah, <laughs> what are the odds? Ooh, there's a picture of, uh, at, uh, Mount Inari, uh, in, in Kyoto, the long, long tunnel of Tori gates that go up the mountain. I went through that. Where's the cool drawing of me? <laughs> uh, okay. Um, yeah. Cooking videos. Soon. I, I think I really should. What can I make? What can I make? I don't know. I don't know. I'll think about it. Okay. Bye-bye for now.